And so we did some digging and some searching in special collections and elsewhere. And then we came up with finding a bunch of archives and then going into special collections and looking further at the history of all these incredible people who made up Haverford. And going to Haverford and not knowing what it is that made Haverford itself was something that we were very curious about. I'm still a STEM major and I'm, you know, a chem major. So sometimes people are confused how much, like why I know so much about Haverford. But it has to do with like the overall spirit and persona that you can encapsulate through being here. And Haverford students are really unique. And I think that there's something about the history of Haverford that allows for that. And one of the people who I thought was incredible was Rufus Jones. And this had to do with the fact that I kept on hearing about the Rufus Jones Leadership um, Society. And then I also heard about, well, it was a fund for the most part. And I was like, what does leadership and Rufus Jones like have to do with one another? And through that, I became motivated and inspired. And I ended up finding people along the way that were also interested in Rufus Jones. And thankfully, I got to work for Ben Powell um, a summer ago for Agora Partnerships. And we ended up just talking about Rufus Jones and connecting through that. And it was incredible that there was like this intergenerational kind of connection through all Haverford students. And so, yeah, so I'm here to introduce Ben Powell and let him say a bit more about this society. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you so much. Um, well, thank you everybody for coming. Um, as uh, many of you may have learned about Rufus Jones, really by coming into this very room and wondering, you know, who, who is this person? I was certainly one of those people who discovered Rufus Jones through the Rufus Jones study. And I started reading some of his books and I, I got very interested in, in his thought and in his life and in what he did. And, um, and to make a long story short, um, there is a, a group of alumni called the Rufus Jones Society. And uh, this group is really dedicated to promoting the leadership ethos of Rufus Jones here on campus and within the alumni community. Uh, Rufus Jones really encapsulates the core values of Haverford College, um, a fierce intellect, but um, he's really known for his, his mysticism and, and his, um, his sense of purpose and his centeredness and his spirituality. And that conviction of spirituality with intellectual rigor plus uh, a sense of social mission and purpose and activism um, is really, uh, I think, what Harvard College is all about. And so we want to be promoting that uh, here on campus, but also among uh, generations of alumni and to really create a strong fellowship of alumni. Uh, we've held a couple of retreats uh, over the last few years, and, um, and we've also um, decided to support a new project uh, called the Rufus Jones Reader that will be working with uh, the... Um, with the, the Quaker Collection and Haverford College to support a student who will be helping us to create a new book of uh, Rufus Jones' writings and sayings that is really refreshed for the 21st century so that um, his, his legacy and really the ideals that he stood for um, can be uh, known here and, um, and absorbed and really be part of the whole Haverford experience. Um, so we're really excited to be here today. Um, and um, before I talk about this, portrait that we're going to unveil. Um, in the spirit of, of just kind of uh, of Rufus Jones, I, I wanted to ask Grady to just read a, a, a short passage of Rufus Jones, because many of you may not um, have, have read him recently, but there's real power in his voice, and this is a, a power that we want students to, uh, to, to be exposed to and to really uh, use to, to be inspired. Um, so Grady, you want to you want to come up? <laughs> he believes that it is a matter of a good deal of importance to have a body of people, even though it may be a small body, who will not surrender their ideal, their vision of advance, even in the face of the earthquake and the broken strata. It is worth something to have the lighted torch held high when others have allowed the swirl of the storm to blow theirs out. <clears throat> the only way the new kind of world will eventually come will be through the persistence, the patience, and the unyielding faith 
of those who will not surrender, nor compromise, nor mistake expediency for truth. We must have our Thermopolis of peace and our spiritual bunker hills, where a little band of heroic persons are ready to stand the opposing world and to show that in the end, the right way becomes the way men live. So that heroic band is the Her Haverford community. <laughs> so, um, so uh, this uh, is a, uh, uh, based on a woodcut by Dan Miller. Uh, Dan Miller uh, is a professor emeritus at the Pennsylvania Academy of Fine Arts. He is, I believe, 91 years old. He's a treasure of Pennsylvania. And, um, and I asked him if he would be willing to, um, to do a woodcut of Rufus Jones. And when I told him about who Rufus Jones was, he immediately said yes. And so um, you want to help me? We're, we're now going to sort of unveil uh, this portrait. All right. Awesome. Famous photo of Rufus with his books, and uh, and thanks to to Terry, we're going to be able to hang this in the Rufus Jones room, and hopefully it will help inspire, uh, you know, future generations of Haverfordians. Um, if uh, any of you are interested in learning more about what we're doing with the Rufus Jones Society, um, there's uh, information uh, just inside here um, that you can take, and. Um, Thank you so much for, for coming and, and being with us. Uh, and again, thank you, Terry, for all your leadership. Uh, we're just delighted to be able to present uh, this to you. Well, on behalf of the library, thank you for this really wonderful likeness of Rufus Jones. It actually is, you can see the chair there and <laughs> the bookcase in the corner there. So it, it really will be inspiring. Uh, we'll look forward to hanging that up. And thank you for the opportunity to advance learning about Rufus through the reader. So. Uh, Wonderful. It's a wonderful day. Thank you.